You've got a ton of TIFF or RAW photos and you want to save space or share them as JPEGs. I mean, who's got the time and patience to individually convert them? Well, now it's time to learn some batch file converting techniques. When scanning your photos, I always recommend that you scan them as TIFF or RAW files, because then if you want to do some editing, you have all of that lovely detail that comes with those file types. But those files can take up a ton of space and being able to share them is not as easy as if they were a JPEG. So it would be easy if you could convert all of those files from a TIFF and a RAW without losing the will to live. Well, in this video, I'm going to share some simple ways to batch convert your photo files. Photoshop. Yes, you can batch run conversion with Photoshop without having to open all the files and save them one at a time. In Photoshop, go to File and Scripts and then select Image Processor. First, you need to select the folder of images you want to convert. And if you want any subfolders, then you can tick that little box as well. Then select the location to save them. If you want them in the same folder, Photoshop will create a subfolder for you, or you can select a different location. Then select the file type you want the images to be. You can select more than one if you want, but I am just going to do JPEG. For the quality, you can set it as anything you like between 1 and 12, but remember the higher quality, the larger the file size, so I'm going to stick with 10. You can also resize the images to some other dimension if you want, but I'm not going to do that. You can also run pre-recorded actions like adding a sepia tone as it converts the files. Then once you're happy, click run and it will convert your files for you and you can see the converted files in the folder once you're done. But the problem with this method is that you need a Photoshop license. And what if you don't want to pay for that? Well, there are some other options out there. In FanView. In FanView is a graphics viewer that is for Windows PC. There is a ton of stuff that this viewer can do, but I will leave you to go and play with all those lovely features. I am just going to show you how to use it to convert your files. So open up in FanView and go to File and then Batch Conversion Rename. Select Batch Conversion and select the output format you want. So you can see you can do all sorts of stuff, but I'm going to do JPEG. But what I also like about this program is if you click on the advanced, you can tick to save the files with the original date and time. So pretty cool. Then you need to go back and say where you want the pictures to be saved. Then go back to the main screen and select your images to convert and add them into the input area. When you're happy, click to start and your batch will slowly be done. When you're done, you can go into Explorer and see all your newly converted files. Mac Preview. On the Mac, you actually don't need any fancy programs. You can actually batch convert all of your photo files using Preview. In Mac Finder, select all of your files with Command A and open with Preview. Then select all of them with Command A again and go to File and Export Selected Images. You can create a new folder to put your new files in and then go to options and you can see there's various options but select JPEG. Click go and then all of your files will be in Finder in the new folder created as JPEGs. So there you have it, you can save yourself a ton of time and convert all of your images in one go. What is your go-to program to convert your images? I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then like, share and subscribe, why don't you? Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.